hi i am so excited to be back again thank you for connecting with me thank you for the encouragement you guys are the most awesome bunch this side of the sahara encouraging and i hope and pray that the holy spirit has stirred different things in you i hope and pray that the last two teachings one on the gift of healing and the other one introducing the holy spirit has encouraged you and stirred you up you know to pray for these giftings because i can assure you god intended that all of us have these giftings that these giftings work in our day-to-day -day lives today we are looking at the gift of miracles which basically means divine intervention altering circumstances right and the gift of miracles is not for the super spiritual it's not for the pastor it's not for the bishop you know the gift of miracles is for all of us you know just as the gifts of the spirit are for all of us and did you know by the way that jesus christ performed his first miracle only after being baptized right you remember when you know god the heavens opened and god said this is my son in whom i am well pleased right after that baptism that's when all jesus's miracles started in fact there is no miracle that that was reported before that and when we go to you know the book of acts you know the upper room the upper room had 120 people it had from the disciples to you know uh former prostitutes it, it had your businessman it had your normal guy who sells rolex you know it had everybody you know and all these people when the fire came down when the day of pentecost when the fire came down everyone in that room got the holy spirit everyone in that room had the power experienced the power of the holy spirit so that goes to show us that the gifts of the Holy Spirit or all of us experiencing the Holy Spirit is not for a chosen few. It's for the body of Christ. It's for the church of Christ. And therefore, miracles, miracles are for the church of Christ. Now, right after the upper room experience where 120 people all got blessed and baptized in the Holy Spirit, in Acts chapter 3, Peter is walking and there's this lame man right um and then the lame man asks peter for money and peter says you know gold or silver i have not but stand up and walk in the name of jesus stand up and walk in the name of jesus that was the first miracle or healing that was recorded right after the upper room experience what am i saying that as long as we get the holy spirit as long as we are baptized in the holy spirit you and i can experience miracles we can be witnesses to miracles but we can also pray for people to have miracles and let me tell you something god wants that for us he wants us to experience miracles signs and wonders he wants people to be healed he wants people to be delivered he wants the blind seeing the lame walking the deaf hearing he wants miracles and the Bible tells us that God is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Unchanging in all his ways. Isn't that amazing to know that we serve a constant God? To know that what God said yesterday, he means it. What God says today, he means it. And what God says tomorrow, he means it. So will you join me in this prayer? loving and awesome father we thank you we thank you for you are good and you are great father we thank you for the name of jesus from whom all blessings flow not some blessings but from whom all blessings flow and father we thank you that we have the opportunity and the privilege to learn about the power of the holy spirit to learn about miracles signs and wonders to know that this is what you want for the church oh god to know that this is what you want for each and every christian king of glory and right now oh god i stretch out my hand and i pray for everyone that is listening to this message that father you will stir up their hearts their minds oh god that you will stir them up oh god not only to want a miracle for themselves but to want a miracle for the people that are around them and beyond them oh god in fact father when you say that you have given us the gifts of the holy spirit we are supposed to use these gifts to bless others and so king of glory 
I ask that you will stir up in them a desire and a hunger, O oh God, that they will that they will desire these spiritual gifts, O oh God. For these gifts, O oh God, will be through the expansion and the building of your kingdom. I thank you because you listen. I thank you because you are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And I thank you, King of Glory, because miracles are going to happen. I thank you because people are going to experience miracles. And I thank you because we're going to have testimonies, not because of who we are but because of by the help of the holy spirit and in the mighty matchless name of jesus christ you will make all this possible because you make the impossible possible we bless you king jesus we worship you and we pray all this believing and trusting in jesus most precious name and god's people say the resounding amen and amen thank you for joining me and see you next week